Hello, I am Maggie and one of my blogs which is related to online freelancing is called YourOnlineFreelancingSolution.com uh, A few days ago I uploaded a photo of my very first job on Upwork and some of you have been asking me how I landed that job. First of all, I am very new to Upwork. I joined a few months ago, but I only uploaded my profile and updated it last week. I proceeded to check some of the posts and videos about Upwork, how you go about getting jobs, and then I got into it. So here are my tips to giving Upwork bids your best shot, which will then translate to probably getting hired. Uh, you go to Upwork website, you log in if you have an account, if you do not have an account you can create one here but i have an account and i will log in i have already saved my details since i'm the only one who accesses my laptop so my details are already saved i will log in And here is my landing page. So I have fully filled my profile. I have two interviews going on. I have submitted seven proposals since two days ago. One was submitted some hours ago. So what you need to do is to choose your categories. If you have not chosen your categories, you can write your skills here to search for the jobs. Assuming you want to do something with article, Upwork already gives you some suggestions. If you want transcription, you just type in Upwork will give you some suggestions. But for now, I want to do articles and blogs. So as you can see down below, I have already saved that category. So I will click on the category that I want to look for jobs. I will quickly go through all the jobs. Now these are my tips. Go to the category that you want to work. Quickly scan all the jobs. Point number three. Choose the jobs that you think you're qualified or you want to work on. Then go back to those saved jobs and select the jobs you really want to work on the bits. So here I have some jobs. I will quickly, let me see how many jobs are available. Mm, five pages. So you quickly scan through all the jobs. This ensures that you do not miss out on a very good opportunity and send a proposal to something you, you are not so confident about. So I will, mm, I did psychology and I am very interested in this. Let me see what it is about. Mm, so if I am interested in this, I will click like or save, but I have not really gone into details. Then I will move on. Brokerage retirement, yeah, I like these kind of things. Or I could check more. Oh, so many instructions. Okay, I will leave that there. Software development, I will skip this because I am not so well informed on this. Uh, SEO. So I will check as many jobs as I can. I'm just quickly scanning. Music, no. Editor, men. If it were women, I would have saved that. Yes. Whenever I see this, I will click yes. I will read 
more details. Then I go to next. So this is basically my process. Yes, I could choose this, but sometimes I also look at these details. If the client's payment method is not verified, it could mean maybe they are very new, in which case I will still click to see if I can work for them. And rating, not so much, but if you have a client who has a very high rating, that's good. So I will skip that native writer for a blog. By the way, I do not get scared by this native thing. Because I have worked, I have sufficient experience in online freelancing. So just because I'm new to Upwork does not mean I am new to online freelancing. And I have samples and I have my blogs to show. So this does not really worry me. Uh, so I have already selected. This looks good, but the pay. Uh -huh. I think I'm interested in this. So assuming I have gone through all the jobs that are available, then I will go to find my work, save the jobs. Now these are the ones I thought were interesting. So that I can read in depth, understand the concept of what the client wants so that I can submit my proposal. So all your saved jobs have this love thingy. I have quite many. This one I, I saw at 3 a.m. and I went ahead and applied. I am waiting for feedback. So let's see. You read in depth on all the articles that are now here. Uh huh. So assuming I want to work on this, I'm very confident. So I will click on it. Unless my internet is hanging. And then here I can see more details. The skills they need. I have these skills. Uh, as I mentioned, I joined Upwork last week. My first job was this week. And I got five stars. Congratulations to me. Uh, so this really don't worry me. If I know I am good, I will just go ahead and apply. And if you like, you can look at the client's information. This is their higher rate. Uh, how much they have spent and so on and so forth. Hmm. Not such a bad rating. So this tells me that I need two connects. I have 42, but this job needs two. So I can apply for this and still and remain with 40. So I have read the instructions and I like this. I will click submit proposal. Now remember, I have updated my profile and it looks good and professional. So all I need to do is fill in a few details like why I think I am the perfect person for this job. Sometimes you get these instructions from a client. The terms of payment, you can click on either. Uh, milestones, you can fill in. So this one I'm just demonstrating how I go about my how long will it take? I work fast, so I will say less than a week. My cover letter. So you, if you have the name of the person, you can put it here. Then you can say, you, first of all, introduce yourself.
sure you have your name on your profile but it is good to say who you are and then say you saw this advert and you're interested in working with it then why you are the perfect person for this state a few things if the client had provided you a website or some kind of resource and you went ahead and checked it out you might want to appreciate the good work or the information that makes the client see that you are interested and you went ahead and did your due diligence so fill in your details and then sign off you can say regards I'm the person that type I go overboard with this. Then you can upload samples of your work if the client had requested for sub. Remember, if you have updated your profile, your CV is already uploaded. So you can go ahead and click on upload your samples and then you click submit proposal and you're good to go you wait for the response then you go back to your saved jobs check out which other jobs you are interested in or you want to look for other jobs for instance in all these look like transcription I have some skills in transcription but I have only done some personal work so I'm not sure if I want to try this first uh -huh. so same thing you look you check all the jobs oh, they have five plus pages see which ones you are interested in then you save the ones that you are interested in you check the next page assuming you like this if you don't like it anymore you can just click again and it disappears so you have checked all the jobs then you go to your saved jobs you want more details check whether you have enough connects payment method not verified if it is not a huge task i think i would still go for it if i am really interested ah see this is a very new client they have not hired anyone and they joined today actually so you could be the first one and then you could learn jobs from this client forever so you can see what similar jobs are on Upwork. So you like it, submit a proposal. If you don't like it, you just go back. Make sure to fill all the details. So the client, this is the much you're going to charge. Upwork takes this and you get this. How long will it take if you want to work for, on it for more than six months you are welcome to click that but I doubt the client is going to hire you for such a short job fill in your cover letter upload whatever you want if the client had requested and then submit your proposal so that is basically my process let me recap this for you log into your upwork account click on find work 
click on the category of jobs you want or type the category on the search for jobs then quickly scan through all the available jobs if you have time if you do not have time you can check just a few pages but then if you find something that is interesting save it once you're done saving all the tasks you want go to saved jobs click on that then you click on to get more details on each job if you like it you click on submit a proposal then you wait for feedback now it is important that when you land that job or when you're being interviewed be as clear as possible if there are questions that you have please ask the client and once you get the job do your best don't start looking for the next job before okay you can go ahead and look for other jobs but do not now shift all your attention to looking for more jobs while you have one that you have not even delivered make sure you give the job that you get your best shot Okay, that is it.